Hey guys, real quick heads up, I am heading to the, I think they're calling it the Dallas March for Lives. It's basically an anti-gun protest, uh, starting in about half an hour at Dallas City Hall. I'm going to be uh, trying to talk to some people, see why they're there, see why they think they have the right to control what peaceful people own to protect themselves. Should be interesting. <laughs> despot, every oppressive government, every regime in the history of the world would have danced for joy if they could get their own populace to march in protest to lose some of their freedoms to protect themselves, to disarm themselves. Apparently all you gotta do, humans, is scare people, especially about their kids. Then they'll just give you every liberty they have. I said, will it take a stones to stop a shooter in the school? I think it'll take more than stones, don't you? It's stupid ass people doing this march, man. Having the schools armed is just like the police department, man. You will never think a criminal will go into a police department and just shoot up the place, man. You know why? They too, they're smarter than these damn liberals, man. They know better, man. They know if the police department is armed for them not to go up in that place and shoot up the cops. It's stupid, man. If these people cared about their kids, teachers need to be armed, man. They need to have well-trained skills on how to fire an arm so they can protect the students, man. Long as it's a gun-free zone, free zone, that means no guns, period. Criminals are smarter than the liberals, man. They know to bring their own gun because there ain't nobody there to stop them, man. Welcome to the March for Our Lives here in Dallas. On behalf of the Student Organizing Committee, we are so appreciative that our friends, family, teachers, mentors, neighbors, and have joined us students all across Dallas in support of Common Sense Gun Reforms. Let freedom ring from city to the deepest parts of Northeast South and South Dallas. Let freedom ring from the top level of the United States of America to the lowest town there is. Let freedom ring through the thick and the thin. Let freedom ring through the words of the guns that wounds at the last speck of dirt. How you doing? Hey, sir, how are you? Doing all right. What you guys up here doing? Oh, we're just, we're just ain't nobody. 
makes a fool of himself. We're not as near for law enforcement. That's all. Right. Trying to protect, trying to protect people. Yeah, yeah. What it says, safety patrol. How uh, how are you going to be able to protect people if something happens? Well, like I said, it, uh, if something happens to, we'll we'll deal with it. Provide the situation occurs or how it occurs or how it develops. We, you so, will be protected. Like do you have we, any tools for that? Nope. We we train we train the hand. Change self defense, but we do train with tools to get self defense. Just willpower? Yeah, willpower and know how and level headedness. All right, thank you. And have a 280 degree awareness. 280 degree? Yeah. Around that tree, that's a yeah. safe tree right there. Yeah, it is. <laughs> get the nuts away. Sense cor okay. corrugated cardboard okay. reform. What are they bringing? Huh? What are they putting like ammo boxes? <laughs> uh, there was just a whole bunch of explosions in Austin the other day. All those, okay. Yeah. Oh, the sign showing some how to have a, how to commit a felony. Uh, if you yeah. short, if you short a barrel on a short gun, barrel oh, okay. it's a felony. Oh, okay. We, we, you're like, yeah, you're like commit, commit we, la we laugh when we see those videos because people commit felonies every time they <laughs> cut the barrels off yeah. on on camera. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Well, here, right? Oh, okay. I'll talk to my artist about that. <laughs> Common sense shipping reform now. FedEx kills. If only Amazon should have high capacity shipping. Nobody needs more than an envelope to ship anything. Wide march that they had today. Yeah, These celebrities were giving millions and millions of oh dollars for this march today. Cowards. They could have just hired on guards. Cowards wearing guns. I'm gonna leave it like Cowards. 1962. All right, now. Don't shoot me, man! Don't shoot me! In 1962, the Supreme Court outlawed cowards with guns, everyone! That's not helpful. Yeah, no, you just arguing. asked me if I had a problem. Because in school we teach. Oh, you look like Why? Why are you being disruptive? I'm just trying to have a conversation. Oh, it's not yeah, don't start with me. No, don't start with me. You don't need a big package. An envelope will do. Common sense package control now. People, not envelopes. Common sense shipping control now. Think of the children. For the children. Packages, not kids. You must put great common sense regulations on corrugated cardboard. Somebody left their, uh, their knife out in the open. Oh. I want to grab that before a kid grabs it. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, even going to respond to whatever you say. I just want to know for my information. Yes, sir. What do you consider common sense? Common um, sense? Oh, with well, box reform. Well, yeah. you, you don't need a box that big. A letter is all, just the, all these package bombs lately. I mean, we need oh. we need regulation on the corrugated cardboard, cardboard that's out there. Yes, the FedEx kills. So, so, so you guys now. think that uh, AR-15s with 30, 30 round clips is fine? Clips? Magazines, whatever. Oh, yeah. They think what about you think that's okay? Do I think I like it's okay? Drums. Do you think it's okay no. to walk down the street with that? <laughs> it's an NM belt. Do you think uh, yeah. it's okay for a person to carry that down the street? I'm okay with peaceful people, whatever they do. Okay, me too. Okay. Can we discern between people that are getting a disability check for a mental illness okay. and, a, and, a, and a healthy, mentally healthy person? Right. Can we do that? Is that is that common sense? It's always been it's, mentally ill people. 
the, the, pardon me? It's always been mentally ill. No, the, it's the, not. The problem is, that Mr. Trump. Mr. Trump. Mr. I wouldn't give him that much. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, are you a Trumper? <laughs> oh, gross. If gross. this was a gun, no. <laughs> see? No. no. Now see, that's dangerous talk. Right. Well, especially around you guys. But <laughs> no, not at all. We're peaceful people. Okay. Um, he 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 signed an executive order saying that uh, re removing that restriction. So someone collecting. Disability for a mental illness is not excluded from purchasing firearms. What do they classify as mental illness? Doesn't matter. It's no, a yes. it's a big it group. Well, it goes it goes everything from depression to, to schizophrenia to you name it. To what also addiction, like anxiety, and, you know, it's a, I, insomnia now. Like when you just but you know it's, it's all those things problem. all those things can lead to irrational behavior. Okay, but everybody has some some issues okay. while they've been at war. So no veterans should be allowed to have guns? I didn't say that. Well, I'm just saying they've all had a some issues. PTSD should not be allowed to have a gun. Yeah. Nobody with PTSD should be allowed to have a gun. Well, if, if they... Nobody! You know, yeah, if they demonstrated that they're not... No! Capable. You that's, you can't demonstrate that. That You never know. It's a ticking time bomb. Right. No, I understand. Okay, so no. So, no one who has been diagnosed with PTSD should be allowed to own a gun. So the, the moment you make that law... Everyone will stop going to the psychiatrist because they'll be afraid of being diagnosed with something that will stop them from being able to protect themselves. Well, you're always going to have an, uh, you know some kind of a comeback, but you're always going to be against keeping guns out of crazy people's hands. So, no, I would rather so what did we learn today, kids? Well, we learned that it's really, really hard, if not impossible, to have real, genuine, honest conversations with people in settings like that. And it's scary how many people there are that don't have a fundamental understanding of human rights, that they would be there marching to give up their liberty rather than find ways to actually defend their own children. <sighs> See you next time. Um, and definitely the leaving the knife out, that was brilliant of them. <laughs> you know, they're anti-weapon, but she's gonna leave a knife lane where there's a bunch of kids running around, yeah. That's not a knife. Brilliant.